See, we, we, we really have to set up the yes. Atlantic in the Atlantic because if we don't, what is your call? Oh my god! Oh. Hey! 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 I presume you had a good job. Ah, daddy, it was good, but you know the pumping up and down the plane and all, it was crazy. <laughs> we thank God for, for your self and all. Yeah, dad. You're welcome, ho. Thank you, dad. You're welcome. Thank you so much. You want welcome. Okay, thank you so much. Oh, <laughs> uh, dad, I think I should just go freshen up and have a bath. I feel so sleepy. I hope you have had something to eat. Oh, yes, yeah. that I have. <laughs> I hope it's not that uh, usual American junk food. <laughs> <laughs> no, Dad, I had pandemia and arras. Good. Good. <laughs> How are you? Well, I'm fine. I mean, the weather is beautiful. It's just that it's a bit hot. But it's fine. It's good. <laughs> I summoned you here to tell you that Ezenwa will be here tomorrow to see you. Is in one. Um, who, who is this? Your betrothed, the crown prince of the Igligi kingdom. Dad, I, I can't see him tomorrow. You can't say that to Ezenwa. He has already made plans to be here tomorrow. You see, you need to be ready to receive him. With whom did he make those arrangements? Yes, with whom? I'm hardly here and you're about to suffocate me with this thief stuff that in a minute you tell me is tradition. No, I'm not about to do that. You see, the young man, understandably enough, was anxious to see you. Then he must be pretty jobless there. I mean, rushing down here before I even settle down. I recall having told you that he is a medical doctor. <gasps> a medical doctor? Yes. Then I guess he bought his certificate. Else, he should be in practice by now. But he's in practice. Oh, daddy, I doubt that. With the amount of time he has at his disposal? No, he's not in practice. Are you calling me a liar, Adam? Daddy, I cannot say a thing like that, and you know it. But, daddy, he might be deceiving you. He can't do that to me. He can't do that to me. He'll be here tomorrow. You see him, discuss with him, and find out yourself if he is capable of such deception or not. Daddy, I'm sorry I cannot do that. But if he insists on coming, fine and good. Whoever that made the arrangement with him should attend to him. Dad, can I have a drink? Yeah, 
come in. My lady, as in one, the Crown Prince of the Giligi Kingdom is here, and His Majesty requests the pleasure of your presence. Who? As in one, my lady. You know, um, go and tell my father that I send my apologies, okay? As a result of jet lag, I won't be able to make an appearance. But, my lady. I'm sorry, my lady. You are welcome, my son. Please be seated. Thank you, Your Highness. How about Igligi, my bosom friend? Ah, he is fine. Uh, he sends his greetings. Good. He inquires into the well being of Adese. Mm, incidentally, she's a little unwell. And that's why you may not be able to see her this morning. I even thought of placing a phone call to the palace to cancel the meeting. They decided to discuss the situation face to face with you for a better understanding. It's all right, but I hope it's nothing serious. It's just fatigue connected with a long flight, which I think a good rest should take care of. Uh. Very well, then uh, we'll have to reschedule. Oh, my son, yes. Yes, we should. She's here, my lord. Um, I'm sorry, Dad. Sit down. You will see him by the weekend. Friday, to be precise. Not on Friday, Daddy. Not ever. What? Daddy, that's why I'm saying I'm sorry, okay? I cannot compromise my ideals. I can't. I'm really sorry, Daddy. Why are you killing me, my child? Why are you doing this to me? Oh, no. Oh, no. Daddy, I am sorry. I, I can't do this. You really mean this, don't you? Yes. I cannot marry him. Why? Why destroy an arrangement as ancient as this kingdom? When you have not seen this young man in question, what? Daddy, I don't need to see him to make an accurate judgment of his type of person. I mean, I cannot end up winding up with a guy that has not met a girl, yet he has agreed to marry her. I can't. He was only respecting this ancient arrangement between our two families. It will be a sin, a sacrilege, a look to refuse. Daddy, we are seeing the same things in two different ways. I mean, if he wants to respect Asian arrangement, fine and good, if that is his priority. My priority is to be happily married, and those two don't reconcile in any way. You are being too hasty about such an important decision. On the contrary, I've thought about this long and hard before I told you this. You have to reconsider this, my child. You have to. That is out of the question. I can't do that. I'm sorry, but I can't. I mean, it's my life at stake here, Daddy. It's, it's my life. I wish your mother was alive to see what you are doing to me. Um, 
Daddy, please, don't, don't say this, okay? I really need you to understand this. Like, it's my life you're talking about here. Daddy, you have to understand this. My happiness matters to all of us. Dad, I'm really sorry, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. Marriage is a lifetime commitment. I can't promise you that I'll get married to a guy that I've not even met yet. You people should have introduced us long ago, at least to get to know each other. Ada, this arrangement did not begin today. These two kingdoms, since the beginning of time, have had their royal extended families intermarried. This is how your mother and I got married. And this is how Ezenwa's father and his late mother got married. Hey, um, Daddy, in other words, we are like close relations. Or even cousins. You are distant relations. Yeah. Now I like the idea even less. Dad, Daddy, I'm really sorry about everything. But I should have known this man before now. Two of you not having met each other is not an error. It is traditional that the couple will be prevented from meeting each other until about some months or even weeks before the wedding. Mm, I should have seen that coming. Ada, Friday is the day after tomorrow. I will need you to reconsider, at least reconsider your, your decision concerning this marriage issue. You see? And tell me, so we don't continue wasting this young man's time. He has waited for you so long. All right, Dad. All right, okay? All right. Yes. One last thing, my dearest. Your refusal to marry as a woman we pose a danger to my throne and my dynasty. Your child with Ezenwa would have uh, become the emperor of the two kingdoms. But your child with another man, even if of royal blood, will not have such monarchical relevance. Now we are talking. Dad, you know what? I'll bear that in mind when making my reconsideration, okay? Um, Daddy, there's something I want to talk to you about. Um, I want to discuss something with you. About what? Um, there's somebody, or when I say there's something or somebody, I'll be looking as it's pretty fast. Oh.
Daddy? Oh, sorry, Daddy. So, what have you decided, my dearest? Um, Daddy, I, I'm, I'm really sorry. I, I, I can't do it. I... Say no more. But, but Daddy, listen to I. Ada, I wish to be left alone. to receive this shocking news. Is there anything the matter, Your Highness? My son, the goat has eaten the palm front of your father's head. I have not slept for three nights now. Your Highness, please tell me what it is. What's the problem? Your betrothed has refused to accept considering your hand in marriage. What? Why? She said that she can't get married to someone she does not know. This will hurt my father. I mean, you know how long this arrangement has been in place. I do only too well. And that is part of the reason why I feel so terrible. And the elders of my land have already agreed that this marriage will hold in six weeks. Six weeks! Ah. So, what is the alternative now? None, Your Highness, none. Except that my father will have to abdicate his throne, being that as the tradition of Igiligi kingdom demands, he cannot achieve the marriage between the children of the royal families of the twin kingdoms. Yes, my son. Your Highness, since this marriage is impending, please I beg you to permit me to go speak with Adese about this whole situation. Maybe we can still salvage this present situation, Your Highness. You have my permission. Isima. Yes, Your Highness. Let him do it. Yes, Your Highness. Thank you, Your Highness. A lady in waiting reports she drove out a few minutes ago in her car. She anticipated us. Yes. I actually wanted to ask her personal questions about her life. With the answers, we might be able to figure out a way out of this mess. Maybe you can tell me those questions so that I can discuss them with her when she comes back. That way we act faster. 
No time is of the essence, my son. You're right, Your Highness. You summoned me, Dad. Yes. Good evening, Dad. What is good about evening? Where did you go in the afternoon? Oh, um, I went to submit my resume. You what? Daddy, you don't expect me to just stay at home all my life without working? You went out to drop your resume even though you knew you had a visitor. What's wrong with you anyway? What's wrong with Daddy, you? Daddy, you know that I don't like things being forced down my throat. You know it. Like... Like your marriage candidate. What is your problem? What is your problem? That all I ask is to live a normal life, like a normal person. Encounter normal problems. And get married to a normal man and live a normal, quiet life. Even though you know you are not a person of normal status. I'm sorry, Dad, but it's a matter of opinion. Still, we can't be too sure she might not have someone on the outside she is in love with. My son, you cannot say with women. But I, I, I don't think she has someone in her life. Because in her open way of life, she would have said that before now. <laughs> is she at home? My son, no. You told me earlier she is in need of a housekeeper. Yes, she is anxiously looking for one. I think she wants to pack out of this palace to go and live that her so-called normal life elsewhere. Well, um, your Highness, I have a plan I think we should put into play. But first, it depends on two major factors. Number one, my availability at your palace on a daily basis. And secondly, the total cooperation of your palace staff. Yes, I am open to any good suggestion. Keep talking. Highness, will it be possible for your palace staff to be made silent on a particular issue and it be kept absolutely secret from everyone, including a child? <sighs> My servants are of the highest discipline and pedigree. They can do everything you tell them to do. I think I am beginning to understand the way you are going. You see, but tell me, is it possible for you to be available here on a daily basis? Your Highness, I am in my first week of my six-week leave, so that makes my angle totally free. I think it would be best to see if this plan works out before I give Father the bad news. As a woman, I know you are well brought up. But, my son, is it possible for you to live the life of a housekeeper after these years of soft life as a medical doctor? I hope so. Well, Your Highness, I can see you're going in line with my thinking. Well, of course. I want you to make me understand. Is it possible? Is it really possible that that you can make her change her feelings towards you only in five weeks. The answer is I don't know. But I just feel we have no choice but to give this plan a try.
Adana, have you had cause to complain about anything regarding your personal comfort since you became my child's lady in wedding? No, my lord. Good. I need you to do something for me in return. Now, listen. That will be all. Your yeah, wishes are command your hands. May all rise. You see, ma? Yes, Your Highness. How is the palace best coming? Yes, Your Highness. Daddy, good morning. Good morning, dear. I'm sure you slept well. Oh, I did. <laughs> um, you summoned me? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Your housekeeper has arrived. I, are you serious? Oh, my God. Um, where is she? Uh, he, there. He? of a male housekeeper. That would just leave out of touch. There are female pilots, taxi drivers, male hairdressers and cooks. These days, why not male housekeepers? Daddy, seriously, I don't like this idea of a male housekeeper. I don't. If I had known that this is the way you see the hotel, I would have asked you to get a housekeeper yourself. I should have remembered that you are a very difficult character to satisfy. Daddy, you don't understand. I mean, a male housekeeper. I mean, God. I don't blame you. Don't know what it costs me, both in resources and time, to get a specially trained person like this. So, he's a specially trained person? Yes. He does household chores. And he can drive, which is an advantage. Considering the fact that you, you need a driver, my dear. Daddy, um, you said he does household chores. Yes. Can he cook? Um. <coughs> um yeah, yes, he can cook. Yes, he can cook. Oh, he can cook. Yes. Fine. We'll start with the cooking. And let me tell you something. If you don't satisfy me, you're out. Okay? Good. Thank you. to tell me something? Um, well, no, sir. <laughs> You're wondering how I would cope? Yes, sir. I'm wondering myself. And please, what's with the sirs? My name is Alex. Yes, sir. Go ahead and keep calling me that sir if you want to blow my cover here. Sir, that wasn't what I meant. It's just that See? I can't disrespect you that way. See, you see, there, there you go with all your serves again. I'm sorry. Oh, just leave me. Come on. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Let's go. So, Your Majesty. I think that is the right thing to do. But what do you think about it? Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Oh, I go. My apologies. 
I was a little lost in thought. But I'm back now. A minute, please. You see, man? Yes, your name is. You were saying? Yes, Your Majesty. I was saying that that was the best thing to Somebody might just come in here to see the king sent you to see how I'm fair. Please, just go. Yes, my lord. to see if the food is ready. I think the king is hungry or something. I did not ask you to make conclusions for me. Hey, the king is not in the habit of sending his guards to the royal kitchen hungry or not. Are you sure it was food he came here for? I'm actually waiting for an answer. Am I little bit reminded that 12 noon is just 45 minutes from now, and her humble servant is under a time limit. I see you have a very smart mouth. We will see if that smart to cook him at all.
What is this? Um, my lady, that is um, fresh fish pepper soup, the appetizer. I see. The lunch is ready as promised. Yes, your highness. Smells fine. It's good. I think I would like a bite. Daddy, is it not rather too early to have lunch? When did you come into the palace, Boston? Can't your father enjoy himself every once in a while? Yes, Your Highness. Oh, wonderful. Just what I need. Mm, good. 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 Oh. Is that bush meat pepper soup? Of course, Your Highness. Wow. When did appreciating something go become an offense? Is that my wife in there? Yes, Your Highness. Oh. Wonderful. This is wonderful. This is great. You sent for me, my lady. How much do you want this job? I need it very much, my lady. Oh, then it's a pity. Because you'll be so displeased when you find out that I'm very disappointed. That you passed your first test. Well, thank you, my lady. <laughs> Don't thank me yet. Because I'm still very much interested in dispensing with your services. You passed your first test, but there are more to come. I don't know. My lady. Take him to the single servant quarters where he'll be living in until I dispense with his services. Yes, my lady. And, uh, and you, you've been taking me into town in my car in the exact Is on your left. The kitchen is beside. You're welcome. Uh, thank you. Uh, Adana. Yes. Um, I'd like to thank you for helping me out when I was serving lunch. Oh, you're welcome. And please don't forget, 20 minutes. I know. Uh, um, one last thing. What? She expects you to wash her car. What? Yes. Do what her master Where do I start to make this right? After all that I've done in my life, I'm so ashamed right now. Who do what her master do I start to right my wrongs after all that I've done in my life? I'm so confused right now. Oh, oh, oh. goodbye, my lover. I never ever meant to let you down. Never ever meant to take the life. 
met before? No, 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 I don't think so. Otherwise, we could have been friends before now, at least. I swear to God, your beauty is like a magnet. Dang! Anyways, forgive my manners. My name is Brown. Dr. Maxwell Brown. Medical doctor. And you? Um, excuse me, um, can I have a bottle of water, please? Thank you. Changed my mind. I decided to just stay back. For real? Yeah. But why are you looking so tattered? Your heads are not coming. Come yeah, on. Listen, you know, I just try to be humble sometimes. You should try saying, eh? Come on. Seriously. Try? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? I'll see you later, okay? Okay. Yes, yes, yes. I'll call Hold you. On. All right, man. All right. Take care, eh? I'll call right. you. Yeah, I'll call you. I'll call you. Okay. Yeah, well, talking to just now. Oh, that is an old friend. Oh, a medical doctor, an old friend. Medical doctor? You have an old friend, I don't know what he does for a living. I think someone is lying to me. No, 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 my lady, seriously, I am. I mean, it's been a long time I saw him last since yeah. our school days. I never, I never even knew he studied medicine. Max. Hmm. Bad Max, medical doctor. It's life. Surprising. How was your day? Oh, my day was fabulous. <laughs> well, how are you enjoying your new servant? Daddy, wait. Did you invite me here to ask me that? I think it is important to me that the servant I found you is all that I told you he will be. Daddy, there is something about this whole thing that you're not telling me, right? Oh no, oh no really, no. If there was something, I would tell you. Okay, <laughs> I'm doing more change.
Yes, come in. Oh, please, please, don't, don't, don't go. Please come in. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Um, I, I, I came to wake you up so that you can go and wash your car. You shouldn't find you wanting. Thank you. Fine. Okay. I hope my lady slept well. Yes, I, I did. I did. Um, so tell me, what do you think about my new servant, Alexander? Um, my lady, I... No, 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 don't give me that, okay? I want to be free with me, okay? So tell me, what do you think? Well, my lady, I, I think he's a nice and efficient person. Mm. He's a good man to have around. I'm beginning to think so too. Um, I don't know. Yes, my lady. I want you to do something for me. Yes, my lady. Find out as much as you can about him. Yes, my lady. Um, you can go now. That is all. Um, one more thing. Tell him to come as soon as he's done washing the car. Yes, my lady. Okay. Sense for me, my lady. Yes, I did. How do you know that I require my drivers to wake up early and wash my car? I've never instructed you to do that, have I? Uh, well, my lady, you see. I... Yes, I'm listening. I was trained to work that way, my lady. Oh, really? Yes, my lady. That's quite impressive. Well, um, we'll be leaving in 30 minutes. That's my lady. Your plan is working. My plan? Yes. Come on. Everybody in the palace knows about it. Everyone except my lady, that is. And what makes you think my plan is working? Well, two things. 
One, when I went to her room this morning, she could hardly take her eyes off you. And then two, she told me to find out as much as I can about you. Interesting. Well, I'm even thinking about telling his eyes about me. No, 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 don't do that, no. Why? Uh, he, he could get overly excited, you know, and in his state of being excited, he could let the cat out of the bag. But isn't that the whole idea? Now that she's beginning to like you. Look, 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 look. It's too early, all right? I mean, for all I know, there could be other reasons why she would want to know more about me. So, what do I do now? What do I report back to her? So, uh, was this what happened? Yes, my lady. Even your driver, Alex, saw it too. All right, yeah. Speaking of Alex, did you find out anything about him? <laughs> Don't want to quite another story, my lady. I wasn't able to find out anything about him. Oh, you don't mean it because I saw both of you the other day. You're actually together. He seemed quite at ease with you. My lady, it's not like that. Okay, he was just teaching me some little math. Anytime you go into personal stuff with him, he just clumps up. It's not like he's hiding anything from anyone, but he's just not into personal issues. And nobody knows anything about him. Hmm. Something seemed definitely out of place here. I think I might have to do a little fact-finding myself. Come along. I invited you in. And you? Um, I'm fine. Uh, no, no, you have to take something. I'll have the same thing. Um, excuse me, I'm bringing you to the table. Let's share the same table. Huh? Yes. Sit by me. You don't you don't seem at ease, why? No, I'm not. I mean, is it because I'm a woman or what? Yes. Oh, I see. I saw you and Adani the other day, and you seem pretty much at ease with her. She's also a woman. Um, maybe that was when she was helping me out with some mathematical songs. Hmm. Who is teaching who now? Someone is lying. It was when she was helping me out with some mathematical sums. Okay. Um, you didn't order anything to eat. I guess she must be hungry by now. No, I don't like that. Okay. <laughs> me too. <laughs> yeah, um, talking about cooking, you're a very good cook. Thank you. Are you by any chance aware that you've not drank your drink since we were here? 
sorry. <laughs> no need to apologize. I think I should be doing this sort of thing more often because I hate to think that my mere presence intimidates you this much. She's beginning to like you and very soon she'll fall in love with you. You're making this thing look so easy like one movie. No, I'm just excited it's working. Why? Why what? I mean, why are you excited this thing is working? <sighs> She's my mistress and I want the best for her. Her happiness means everything to me. What do you mean by the best? <laughs> me? Well, I didn't quite mean it that way. I'm very sorry if I put your head in danger of swelling and bursting in pride. No, trust me, this my head is proper and in place. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the best. <laughs> You're so good. Please come in. Come in, please. Um, I, I can see that you you're dressing up. I'll, I'll leave and... Uh, no, 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 I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. Yes. Well, um... <clears throat> there is something I would like you to discuss with you. And I think this is the right place to discuss that. Can I sit? Please, please, my lady. Well, um... I want to ask you for a favor. No, anything, my lady. Okay. <laughs> I want you to help me, um, <laughs> I want you to help me with my kitchen and cooking skills. Um, that's if it's possible oh, for you no to problem. do that. That's not a problem, my lady, any time. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Ah, with pleasure, my lady. Mmm. Wow. Um, <laughs> I, um, uh, I have to leave. Oh. Do what my 
story Where do I stand to right my wrongs After all that I've done In my life I'm so confused right now oh, oh, oh. Goodbye Jesus Christ, what is wrong with me? So I can run my wrongs. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How did I let the darkness inside of me? Of a shadow the light inside of me. I don't know. Whoa, I wanna know. I'm so ashamed right now. I'm so confused right now. I wish I could right my wrongs I wish I could tell the hate that time yeah. Good night, my lover I never ever meant to take your life I never ever meant to let you down You're exhausted <sighs> Do you sleep at night? I try You try? Listen even if you cover the syllabus twice over without resting properly, you still cannot write this exam. I'm very used to tiredness, believe me. How long have you worked here? It's been 15 years. I lost my parents in a ghastly motor accident. And His Royal Highness, my father's nephew, took me in and I've been working here ever since. This is an opportunity of a lifetime, you just can't miss it. Now you've worked here for so long a time and you have this opportunity of improving your life. You just can't miss it. Don't overwork it. Be time conscious. Have time to rest. You need it now, your exams are fast approaching. since we left that office. Why, if I may ask? <laughs> well, it's the interview. I think I felt pretty badly. And I was actually hoping to land that job. You sound as if you've given up already. I mean, if you're in my shoes, you'll do the same. You need to see the detailed, difficult questions those guys were firing at me. You don't know how the others who attended the interview fared. And you're here getting yourself all worked up. Maybe you even fared better than them. You might be right, you know. I know I am right. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. I mean, Alexander, you're smart. Anytime. Thank you. <laughs> um, I think I should take my drink now. <laughs> so, when are you traveling for the exam, my dear? On Monday, my lord. To come back when? 
On Wednesday, my lord. Good. I'll ask them to have the duty roster rearranged to suit your movement. My lord, I'm most grateful. Good, good. You may rise. Thank you. Yes, come in. Come in. Good evening. Good evening. You're leaving tomorrow morning, right? Yes. Um, I came to thank you for everything you did to help me prepare for my exam. Ah, oh, please. There's no need for that. No, I'm, I'm really... Hey, 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 hey. Please don't do that. With all my heart, I... You're beautiful. Please. 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 No, please. you are beautiful. See? I'm sorry I can't do this, okay? You belong somewhere else. I need to make her happy. You're so different. So special. No. You are the special one. Please, don't try to make this look any different, please. I just look at you. Considering someone else's happiness so unselfishly. Look at you stooping to live under false identity. You're even more humble than us, the servants. Look at you who's taken everything here in your stride so perfectly. Whoever thought that was possible. You're everything a man's ever wanted. Both inside and out. Now you're putting my head in danger of swelling and bursting in pride. But I'm only telling you the truth. Look. Here. I want us to exchange numbers so you can reach me as soon as you get to Lagos. I need to know you got there safely. Please. Yes, Father. Not to worry, I'll be back before weekend. I promise I will come back home with her. Bye, Father. Dana, call! Come in. Come forward. Forward. You sent for me, my lady. Yes. Um, you are aware that Adana is not around. I need you to massage my back. Now? Of course now. Um, go and pick up the ointment on the table and the green bottle. I'm waiting. Yes, my lady. Now, I'm actually waiting. Hmm? Oh, God. Um, sit down, don't worry, sit down. Good. Yes, um, I feel um, some pains around my waist region. So I think I want to ease the pain off. 
So please, can we start? Oh God, yeah. Just um, very close to my Botox region. Okay, let's do this. Yeah. I'm waiting. Fast, please. Good. No, 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 no. Not there. Move your hand lower to the um, Botox region. Very close to the Botox area. No. Move, move downwards, downwards. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good. Oh, yeah, right there. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Oh. Right there. Mm. Oh, God. Oh. It feels so good. Yes. Oh, no, no. Go down, go down, go down. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right there. Oh, your hands are so good. Oh, God. Yeah. Yes, my lady. Um, it, it seems I'm attracted to you. I'm really attracted to you. And I think um, I should take this attraction away further. I don't think this is the right way. Right. Please, you just relax. You'll be fine, okay? I mean, the thing is, this is wrong. Really right. This should not wrong. Ah, what is wrong? Just relax. This is actually I think my phone is ringing, but my phone is on my phone. No. My phone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hello? Yeah. Oh, you're there already? Well, well thank, thank God. Thank God. Yes. I, I, I'm, I'm fine. I, I'm fine. I, I'm, I'm good. Oh. You know what? Don't worry. We'll do this later and you can leave. Um, thank you, Your, your Highness. Uh, um, may you live long, Your Highness. Your cell phone was unavailable. And as I happened to be passing by, I decided to come and see what the matter with your cell phone was. Um, and there, there is nothing wrong, wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it, yes. So, why is it unavailable? I am... Um, I... I switched it off. Yeah. I see. Daddy, you summoned me. I How shameless of you. Look at you. So this is why you do not want to marry. Daddy, Daddy, I am sorry, okay? I am really sorry. I mean, there was an attraction between the young man and I. And I couldn't fight it. I, I am really sorry. Please forgive me. Mm. Well, all is well that ends well. I, I don't understand. As the woman, my son, your plan what? Um, you, you are easy one. Yes. And I came to tell you, Your Highness, I'll be leaving your palace in a few days. All right. I was on phone with your father this morning. He's anxious for you return with your bride. Well, I'm grateful for the hospitality you've shown me. And I do beg your pardon for everything. If it will please you, Igwe, kindly allow me to speak with Adese here. We need to iron out a few things. No problem. 
May I have a few minutes of my lady's time, if you deem it fit to indulge your humble servant? attraction flashing between both of us. Even when I thought you were a servant. Do you need my father to tell you that I had feelings for you? Well, I have my reasons for asking. Well, you know now. Why, why are you even asking? Question and answer session. <laughs> well, <clears throat> I should have known this long ago, you know. Something pointed to the fact that there was something strange about you. Right under my very nose, you hid yourself so well. <laughs> Jesus Christ, God. I guess it was the work capacity that threw me off the set. Now tell me, why did you learn to do all these things? Well, they were mostly part of my upbringing, really. Oh, really? <laughs> That's impressive. Thank you. But you still haven't told me why you asked me that question. Oh, <laughs> you weren't to be sure that your plans of getting close to me and my affections worked, right? No. I just wanted to be sure. I don't want to hurt you. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I don't understand what you mean. The truth of the matter is, I can't marry you. What? Yes. my dear. Daddy, you just have to come and talk to Alex. You just have to come and talk to him. Adam, what is it? <laughs> Alex said he can't marry me. What? Daddy, listen, you have to come and talk to him for me. I beg you. Bad idea. First, what happened? Tell me what happened. I, I don't know, but I just really have to talk to him. I really love him so much. You can't do this to me, now, Daddy. Please, I beg you. Just talk to him. Just talk, just talk to him for me, please. Hey, who's that? Hey, come here. Me too. Not Not What's the matter? And you mean you kept this to yourself all the time we're talking on the phone? Uh, yeah, you know, I just didn't want to bother you not at that sensitive period. So how did your exam go? It was okay. It was, it was good. All right, listen. Now that we're out of the sensitive period, what is the problem? It's just that I've missed you so much. <laughs> what? Is that it? Isn't that enough of a problem? Please listen, Alex, listen. Please don't let her hear you. Please, I beg you. Okay, I was just in my room and I saw you from the window, so I decided to give you a blindfold. Well, instead of giving me a blindfold, you should have actually given me what you brought back for me from Lagos. <laughs> All right, I'll bring it to you. All right, okay, take care. <laughs> I want to explain something to you. Okay. Listen, Ma. Before I met you, I never knew you would turn out to be like this. 
I, I, I thought you had a normal, rich, snobbish royalty. And I wanted none of it. But when I met you, something told me that you were different. Yes, yeah, something told me that you'd be different. And I fought so hard not to have you around me. Because I sense something will happen. Something I can't control. And it has. Alex, I'm in love with you. Love? Yes, I, I, I am attracted to you. I mean, well, when I discovered your identity, your personality hits me. I mean, everything. Your intelligence, your tolerance, your humility, and your breathing hit me so hard. I, I, I had no choice not to fall for you. Adesu, Adesu, you just have to understand. Yeah, I, I know. I understand, right? I, I know that I know that I have wronged you. I'm really sorry. Look, look. I'm really sorry that, that, that how I behaved when you came to ask my hand in marriage. I'm actually very sorry. Look, at this. I, I didn't mean it. It was just a mistake. And I'm sorry. I had no idea that you would turn out like this. Look, me too. But what do you mean by you too? I had no idea you would turn out this way either. Yes, I understand. Totally understand. I mean, everybody cannot be near perfect like you. Yeah, I know that I've done some things wrong. I know that I'm not perfect. And I know that I'm actually changing. I am trying so hard to improve. I'm really trying so hard. I, I just need you to forgive me. I'm so sorry. Please, I, I beg you. I would have said yes. Right? I would have said yes. Not only for you, but for my father's sake too. And for the arrangements that you know our families share. But the truth is, I'm in love with someone else. Um, who is this person?
Bir somon mu ya Hayres? Hayres. Sida. My son, your plan has worked out. Now she loves you. She even confirms that she has told you so. Oh uh, yes. Congratulations. Hmm. Considering the urgency of our timetable, we have to tell your father and uh, the chair of your people of this good news as soon as possible and uh, uh, fix the wedding. I'm sorry, I can't marry a daisy, your highness. What? Yes, your highness. What do you mean you can't marry her? I don't understand. Has anything changed? Yes. What? I'm in love with someone else. Come. Zemwa. Even you. Love. When Adese was saying this, I did not believe her. But now I am seeing it with my own eyes. What happened to the traditional arrangement between our, our two families? I'm sorry, that's the present situation of things. Oh, my son. After all the hard work, it is now someone else. It wasn't a waste of time, Your Highness. I spent quality time with both women. And I came to realize that in marriage, the most important factor is the happiness of the couple. You are beginning to sound very much like a Adese. If this is what love does to a man's head, it cannot be good for human beings. You said you spent time with both women. Yes, Your Highness. You spent time with both women. Don't tell me it is Adana. Indeed, Your Highness. <sighs> Baby, it's you. Oh. Did you speak with him? I am sorry, my dear. Daddy should have told me all this long ago. You should have told me all this. If I had told you, you would have been too busy frustrating him than to like him. Then that would have been better than this. I mean, everybody in the palace knows about this except me. I'm not the laughing stock of the palace. They knew him because they had seen him. How would you have known him when you refused even to see him? Even your competitor had that advantage over you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that backstabbing idiot even knew him. Oh, God. Daddy, what do I do now? I, I love him so much. I, I, I love him. Adam. Yes, Daddy. I never want to hear that word love again. It has caused so much confusion in this palace. Now, my family is out of this palace. The palace I so much cherish. I, I... I... I don't understand. My dear, Adana is a princess like you. Her father, my uncle, was the rightful man for the throne. But he died in a motor accident with his wife when she was very small, and I took her in. Now that it is she that we married to the other side of our twin kingdoms, the throne has gone back to her family. <gasps> it is your room now.
Long live your highness. Long life, my dear. Long live, my lady. What do you want? My lady, I beg you, please listen to me first. Get out from my room! Get out of my room right now! Get out! I said, get out! Just leave! Yeah, I don't do hear out. Daddy, how can you be saying anything like this after all she's done? I see this whole thing hasn't taught you to, to know when to listen to me. even the prince looking at me. I would never ever dream of taking anything that belongs to you, my lady. Never. But you dared! You dared to go close to him! Yes, my lady. According to your instructions. We're even happy when you gave me the instructions. We saw it as a sign of you becoming interested in him. <laughs> Who was happy? Huh? Who was happy? Alex and I, my lady. I don't know when everything changed. Oh my god. Oh my god. So you actually knew about this plan? Huh? I mean, how could you do this to me? How could you just do this to me? My lady, I told him to encourage him and to show him that his master plan to get close to you was working. I don't know. But you are my confident. So you actually knew about this master plan I didn't tell me? My lady, I'm sorry. I was instructed not to tell you. Um, by, by whom? There's something I've come to tell you. Sit down. Thank you. I am listening. I'll be leaving your palace tomorrow. And in the morning, I would like to formally ask you for Adana's hand in marriage so I can take her with me for formal marriage proceedings amongst my people. My son is in one. You know the tradition. Surely you must know that that is not necessary in situations such as this, where the woman is from a king's palace. I know, Your Highness, but I do deem it important considering the relationship between our families. My son, you certainly cannot be asking me to do something that is against my own interest. Your Highness, but that is the more reason why there should be an approval from you so that it will be made clear that you and your family have no ill will against our marriage. And besides, we... Besides what? Adana has made it very clear that she would not leave this palace except you formally hand her over to me, which only I think is right.
Adana, my daughter. Is this man you have chosen to be your husband? Yes. If His Highness, who I consider my father, will approve. Ichiago, you had them. Yes, Your Highness. As a my son, I am a straightforward man. I shall call this bait a spade. You have made a nice choice. I am sure you are going to be happy. Congratulations. Adana, my daughter, it is fate itself that brought you and Ezema together. Indeed, in finding each other was neither the design of either of you or someone else. You were destined to be this way. Therefore, I see no reason to interfere. shall be blessed with as many children as you shall desire. Yes. Both men and female. He said, your union shall be peaceful. He said, your union shall be prosperous. He said, may the gods be our witness. Even It is past midnight. And this is the third time in a row you're coming back around this time without any reasonable explanation. And how many times will I explain to you that whenever I come back from work late, there is an emergency at the hospital? Really? Yes, really. So that means there's an emergency every day of the week in the hospital, right? Hey, hey now listen. I don't have the time or the inclination for this nonsense. Do you understand me? Alex, nonsense. Yes, nonsense. Alex, wait. <laughs>
Yes. Baby, your dinner's ready. Well, I'm sorry, I'm not hungry. Years. Max, what are you talking about? Listen, you are not the only married man in this whole wild world. Uh -huh. Okay? The rest of us are married too. Uh -huh. But we enjoy these things badly to a fault. Right? I don't know what you're talking about. You just sound like a, an egg husband and everything or so. I don't know, man. I think we should discuss something else, okay? Thank you. Alright, fine and good. If you're done with your suffering now, come to the world. some more rice. Hmm? How are you? Fine, but you're late for dinner. Oh, well, I had emergencies at the hospital. Some people needed to be treated real quick. Okay? I'll be with you, sir. Deserve what you're doing to me. 
Hey, we had an appointment for yesterday night and you didn't show up. Look, Vanessa, seriously, I'm having to rethink about this whole thing. Um, no, no, Alex, you, you can't do this. I mean, you can't do this. You have a husband and I have a wife. What are we doing together? We are meant to be meant for each other, okay? We are meant for each other. Hey, 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 we didn't just realize at the same time. Please, please, please. Vanessa, you know what? I have other patients I need to attend to, please. There are no other patients. What do you mean there are no other patients? I was the last. How long did you wait? Three hours. I, I didn't just want to be interrupted when I come in to be with you. Alex, listen. I have to understand this, okay? It's 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 crazy, but you really have to understand this, right? He's always out of town. And besides, I can handle him. Okay, all right. Hey, Max, you're here. We're here. Okay. I should go. Okay. Hi. Oh, I will see you. So where's your girl? tell Maxwell this afternoon at the hospital? Just the afternoon. Well, just to find out what has changed you and to get your behavior back on track as a close friend of yours. You came to threaten him, didn't you? <sighs> Did he see our little conversation as a threat? Well, that might be guilty conscience at work. Stay away from Maxwell, do you understand me? Baby, do you want me to serve your breakfast? Breakfast? Welcome, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Olivia? Yes. He's a gentleman. <laughs> you met on a good day. Gerald? My friend here bought us King Fisher bread. Thank you, sir. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Olivia? Yes. Start leaving. Are you serious? Don't you want to stay for a drink or something? Ah, no. Thanks. Maybe tomorrow night. I'll take care of that. Alright, okay. Alright, let me see you all. Alright, I'll be back. It's your TV. Good evening.
Mommy, how did your friend guess that we like Kingfisher bread? He is very nice, but he didn't tell us his name. Mommy, what is his name? Gerald. You ask him when you see him, okay? I will ask him when he comes tonight. Would you stop talking at the table? Stop talking. Just go on and drink your tea. I don't know. Yes. Who's he? Who? Your friend. Your mom is not back yet. No. All right, so I'll continue watching your cartoons, okay? All right, there you go. So, I gave Neka here detailed instructions about dinner, in case I don't make it back early. And why are you giving me that plan? Don't you have anything to do? to get back at me. I mean, was this your sudden rubbish of emergencies? Baby, listen. We received 300,000 consignments, more than we usually get. Yes. And they were perishables. We had to clear everything today. We actually had a call informing us that they were going to come in today. Really? Yes. Are you sure you're telling me the truth? Baby, what's bothering you? Is there something you're not telling me? You're not telling me the truth, are you? You really do think you're telling me the truth? Because... Pick your call. Well, my call is not a subject matter here. <laughs> it's her, right? Her? Who? What are you talking about? Tell her you're on your way. It's not too late, you know. We can still make it tonight. When you worked, I battled. It's like 
Okay. Now, do you remember mommy's friend, you know, the one who bought bread for you? Yes, dad. Describe him. I don't understand, dad. Uh, what does he look like? He is tall, not very dark. He is handsome. If you see him again, would you recognize him? Yes, Daddy. Can I go and finish my assignment? Yes, 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 of course. So I really think you should give my proposal a thought. I will, sir. Okay. I would like to get a reply before the close of work today. <laughs> All right, sir. Okay. <laughs> so, did you want the match yesterday? They were <laughs> He's already sleeping in his room. Have you two eaten? Yes, sir. Good. Now, I need you to take the keys, lock the doors, the front and the back door, and bring the keys to me immediately. Do you understand? Okay? And now, one more thing. If anyone knocks, come and call me. Okay? Yes, sir. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes, sir. Hey, 
Baby, you want me to serve your dinner? to help me out with something, okay? Um, you're the one who served me last night, right? Yes, sir. Now, remember the lady in the flashy red dress, the one who came in just before I left? Yes, I remember her, sir. Good. When exactly did she leave? As soon as she left, sir. Are you sure? Yes, sir. All right, thank you very much. All right, bye. So she came back here while I was dropping Vanessa off. Hmm. But who is he? What exactly is happening between them? When did it start? understand what you mean, Gerald. You don't eat anymore. You hardly talk to anybody. Well, I'm undergoing an adult problem. What is an adult problem, Daddy? Gerald, are you an adult? No, Daddy. Then you would not understand because only adults like me can. Hmm. It must be complicated to be an adult. Yes, yes it is. Uh, look, um, Gerald, I... It's time for my shift. Uh, Daddy has to prepare for work. Okay? All right, Daddy. Does Mom know about this adult problem? Uh, Yes, she does. Now, you just continue your drawing, let daddy go to work, and I will buy you something very nice, okay? Don't go, please don't go. Don't 
don't go I want you to stay Oh, 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 oh. Don't go I want you to stay I was wrong you were right And the thoughts killing me inside When you worked out the door It's like you took my heart along I've never known anyone more beautiful than you I've never seen any love so caring like you Although I've made my mistakes And now that I've learned Oh my love Want you to stay I never ever wanna let go All those places that I have been before Cause every time I close my eyes Really, it's blown up in my face. I don't know who the guy is. If it's an affair, I don't know when it started. The uncertainty is killing me. Seriously. Mama, have you asked her? I've never known anyone more beautiful than you. Yes, I have. She did ask me questions of her own about Vanessa. She says since I started it, I have to start answering the questions first. Jesus Christ. Oh, did she see Vanessa at the restaurant? Yes, she did. Um, um, well, since you can't get answers from her, why don't you try asking people around you? Think back to the first time you suspected foul play. Verify from others. Might they with the answer she gave you. I think that will help us get to the bottom of this whole thing. Want you to stay. Want you to stay. Oh. Want you to stay. Want you to stay. Please don't let go. Please don't let go. Want you to stay. Want you to stay. With me. Want you to stay. Please don't let go. You're the one resonating between my heart and mine. I try to run away from you, but it's like you were buried under my skin. Hmm. Now let's investigate our own brand of emergency. I've never seen anyone more caring than you do Although I let myself down And now that I realize Don't go I want you to stay I never ever wanna let go All those places that I have been before Every time I close my eyes, you all I see. My Good afternoon. Good afternoon. May I um, sit down? Oh, please do, of course. Thank you. Yeah. You know I woke up this morning and I considered it quite odd that since my dear wife started working I haven't been able to visit her even once so I'm here now mm. that's very nice of you oh, thank you thank you I would like to see your boss immediately now okay um 
His secretary's office is just across the door, but let me just inform him before. Hey, no, 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 not at all, not at all, okay? I can do that myself. You have to update your work, and uh, of course you do know that you're getting well paid for this. Justify your pay, darling. Absence from work for two whole days? Abandoning the whole work for Phil and I? Without any explanations? I'm sorry, man. I've just been so disoriented. Tell me, why won't you be? No, why won't you be? When you lay in your sitting room, punching yourself with alcohol? Over a wife you love too much? That is the problem. I mean, I never knew how deep in love I was with her until this whole thing started. Alex, you have to handle these problems bit by bit. First, the alcohol. Give me that. Hey. Now tell me, did you implement my advice? Did you? I did. Remember what you told me the first time? I told you I was suspecting something was afoot. Yes. Olivia came back from work late one day. I asked her. She said she had an emergency at the office. Though I wasn't convinced with her explanation, I decided to let things lie low. Then I discussed this with you, and you told me to check it out. So how did you do that? I went to our office for the first time since she started working there. I saw her, and I decided to go see her boss. Now guess who I saw there. Who? The same man I saw with Olivia at the restaurant. The same man my son described to me. Now, if I hadn't controlled myself and left that office that minute, Trust me, I would have beaten that man to a bad pulp. 
from him. All right. Before we get to this man, let's start from you. We need to get you back into shape. Okay? So you go up there, take a cold bath, dress up. We are going back to the hospital now. Uh, no, not today. Maybe tomorrow. Listen, Alex. If you are interested in losing Olivia completely with your job, then continue like this. But if not, grow up and be a man. Um, look, Max, I get your point, okay? But you have Don't to Don't me! Now you go out. Go take your best, man. What is it? Go take your best. You're pushing me. and how's the baby? Mischievous. <laughs> so what have you been doing besides, you know, checking him up? Well, putting my feet up in the air. You know, what else will I do with my leave period? So, how has work been going? Well, uh, nothing different apart from your absence, that mm -hmm. is. Yes, we've all missed you, especially the psychiatry department. You know, the intensity of the whole thing surprises me, really. Why? I mean, considering the short time you have worked here, seriously, we all miss you, and anyone who has worked with you and knows the way you lighten things up will definitely miss Come, you. please, don't leave my head first. <laughs> you have a problem with hearing the truth. Ah, it's okay, it's okay, please. It's okay. It's all right, it's okay. Alex, is anything the matter? No, um, nothing, nothing really. Um, just some family problem I wouldn't want to bore you with. But I'm getting over it all. And you don't want to give out a little piece of it, you know? A little bit. I'm concerned. I do appreciate your concern. But you see, when you want to try your psychoanalysis, look in another direction and not my hand. <laughs> yeah? I will never change. Have a nice day for that. <laughs> Max, this whole thing is getting out of hand. I thought I had it, but I don't. And the most painful thing is that she's actually drifting away from me. It's just too painful. Oh, it's quite unfortunate, Alex. But I'm so, so sorry I, I'm part of this whole thing. You know, you and Olivia are a wonderful couple. Like the rest of our guys. I'm just pulling your legs to make sure you have a little fun outside your marriage. But I didn't know if you met them up first to this whole thing. Look, man. I'm so, so sorry, Alex. I'm sorry. Yes, you guys kept advice. But the decision to take up your advice and play around was mine. Now this thing has gone out of control and there's nothing I can do about it because I started it. No, um, how I wish I, I could be of any help, but you know Mary had good books. Yeah, a good thing you know. She made it obvious to me the other time. But, but Alex, I've been thinking. What if, um, if someone close to her, a close friend talks to her, what about that? Max, it takes a long time for me to make up her mind. Olivia is one person that finds it very difficult to make up her mind. But when she does, that's it. And with her indifference, Olivia has made up her mind. So this whole thing is completely out of hand. I'm afraid so. Alex, why are you doing this to me? 
Edwin, I, I love you so much. I, I really do. Vanessa. Why me? Why me? I mean, why not choose some other man to date? Why me? You can't be asking me this question. When you and I know that we're meant to be for each other. And Nessa, once upon a time, I was a happily married man. <sighs> Until I started listening to some of my friends who cajoled me about my persistent faithfulness to my wife, Adana. Then I gave in to your pursuit. Now I have lost the wife I love. And you in turn still have a husband you can fall back. But I don't love him. I don't. I only married him because you are married to someone else. But now, sweetheart, now you're free for us to make our dreams come true. Hey, listen, I'll tell you for the very last time, those dreams do not include me. Go back to your marriage. Go back to your husband. Make the best out of your marriage. I mean, it's bad enough our philandering has caused one marriage to break up. Let's not let it affect two. Sweetheart, I, I can't live without you. I, I can't. Oh, please. You weren't on life support when I met you. Get real. You can't do this to me. I, I love you. I, I really do. Uh, uh, Vanessa, Vanessa. I need time and peace to think about my life. Okay? That's it. Hey, hey, Vanessa, Vanessa. Look. Just stop. Vanessa. If you do not leave this minute, you will leave me no choice but to call the hospital security to throw you out. Yes, I will. So you can't do that. I will press the bell right now if you do not leave. Stay. I was wrong. I was wrong. You were right. And the thoughts killing me inside. When you worked, when you worked out the door, it's like you took my heart along. I've never known anyone more beautiful than you I've never seen any love so caring like you do Although I've made my mistakes And now that I've learned all my love Want you to stay Dr. Alex, my name is John. I'm a wife here that happens to be your colleague. While your wife, Olivia, is my accountant. But despite all these links between the families, due to some circumstances involving our jobs, I and you haven't met before. That's true. Sometimes She used to be smart and hardworking, but she became careless and dull. I thought it was something she would pass over, you know, a mood or something. But as time passed, it got worse until it became obvious that I was losing an accountant, a brilliant one at that. Tell me, how long have you been working in this office? Four months, sir. Good. Across these months, you worked perfectly well with me. Until three, four days ago, when you started making some careless mistakes. Ordinarily, you don't make. From what I have just seen, you're growing worse. <laughs> I'm very sorry. Oh, 
Amazon, what is it? Sir, <laughs> it's... It's sort of a family problem, but I promise I'll get over it, sir. You think you can get over it soon? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> well then, don't hesitate to confide in me if you need advice or a listening ear, all right? Thank you, sir. <laughs> As I continued to wait and hope for the best, I saw no improvement. I started to discuss the matter with my wife, since she was a doctor with a considerable knowledge of psychology. But at first, she gave me no hopeful suggestion. I took Olivia out for lunch and she told me everything. I found nothing to give her as advice, because I had never come across such a situation before. I discussed it with my wife, but she told me nothing. I needed to talk with Olivia, you know, woman to woman, before my husband would hear anything from either of us. He's in. No, no, it's it's you I came to see actually. At least before I see him. May I sit? Oh, please do. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Olivia. John told me everything we've been going through this past few weeks. And he's been really worried about it. So he felt that as a woman and a doctor of psychiatry, I'll be in a good position to get you a solution to this whole situation. You know, it was as the story unfolded that uh, I realized your husband and I are colleagues in the same hospital. Really? I didn't know you were a doctor, you know. Yes, I am, my dear. I am. Um, Olivia, I needed to know that my husband and I, we understand the way you're feeling right now. And we are willing to help in any way we can. Okay, we are very much concerned about this. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, you don't have to thank me. You don't have to. Um, Olivia. Yes. I hate to have to tell you this, but fighting over a husband like you've been doing, it's hardly to help solve the problem. You know, most times it just he needs the man from you and pushes him further into the arms of the other woman. Ada, listen, I had no alternative. Uh, you did, my dear. You did. You could have made him jealous, for instance. How? Well, um, by attaching yourself to another man, even though in actual sense you don't have anything to do with the man. That will make your husband jealous, and if he loves you, he will come and brush him back then. That isn't a bad idea, you know, but mm -hmm. I don't know any man I can attach myself to. You know how men are. Very untrustworthy. I know, I know. I know. That's true. But I know someone we can trust and he will be willing to help. Who? Oh. Hi there. Wait. It seems people are here to tell me something. Mm. Mm. I can see resolve on your faces. Um, Olivia and I, mm, we had a little discussion, so we decided to come and see you. Well, then, let me hear. We think we might have found a solution, but it will really require your help for it to work. How? See, 
John agreed to be part of the scheme, so we thought of ways to plan the idea in your head that Olivia had found herself a new lover. The bread move was a gamble that paid off beautifully. My God. We knew you and your girlfriend must be meeting somewhere. A hotel, a restaurant, you know. Somewhere that anyone can access at any time. We knew you had a regular meeting place. So we mandated Olivia to find out her place, as she did. How? I had been preparing to take your clothes to the dry cleaners, as it was a ritual for me to go through your pockets, because you usually leave money and important documents in the pocket sometimes. On that particular night, I came across something else, along with a little change. It was a bill from a restaurant. The same restaurant I had been to with my boss. She gave the information to me. The very next day, my boss made me a proposal. It involved us going to the same restaurant in the night so that you see us together as a couple. The plan was that we'll keep coming there until we would come across you. Jesus Christ. On the very first night, we struggled. You happened to be there with Vanessa. to see that you had been badly affected by what we're making you see but we had to make you die the next day my boss gave me a day off and Ada and I came to the hospital we actually came to assess you wait wait wait, wait hold on <laughs> are you trying to say that day we came across each other at the hospital was no coincidence mm -mm. it wasn't my dear Olivia was even watching from a hiding place. I felt the time was ripe for you to be told everything. But my husband had his doubt, so we set up this final scenario of bringing Olivia back late. That slap was enough testimony of the jealousy you had been looking for. Look, um, I'm truly sorry. I mean, I just couldn't control myself. As I told you before, I quite understand. I like words to express the depth of my gratitude towards your 
efforts in saving my marriage. I mean, people like you who care so much about other people are rare to find. And I say, may God continually reward you abundantly. Thank you very much. It's all right. We only hope as a couple that things will get better in your family. I promise they will. Good. I think we'll have to go now. It's getting pretty late. I'm so sorry for everything I put you through. I took you for granted. And that's one mistake I'll never make again. I missed you, you know. I missed you too, baby. Come here. Daddy, Mom. Hey. Big man. <laughs> Shouldn't you be in bed? Some voices woke me up. I couldn't sleep anymore. Please tell me a bedtime story. <laughs> all right, I'll tell you a bedtime story. It's all right, big man. Let me go tell you the most boring story you've ever heard in your life. <laughs> yes. Don't go. Please don't go. Please don't go. 